Hey guys, it's Old RuneScape Guides, and today I was going to be showing you how to do Barrows. If you don't know what Barrows is, it is a mini game which rewards the. Uh, typically, you'll get runes and um, arrows, and no, wait, sorry, runes and bolt rack, bolt racks, as well as some coins. But you can get the possibility of getting some barrows. I believe it's about one in ten or one in fifty. I can't quite remember the exact percent um, chance that you have of getting it. But today I'm just going to be showing you um, the, the fastest and uh, the best way that you can go about it. Well, I mean, not the fastest, but just how you can go about it. Okay, so in terms of items you're going to need, you're going to need probably a mage set and a melee set. In terms of the mage set, you can typically just use mystic, and you can, u u uh, you can use like um, wind blast. I use wind blast because I'm poor, but it's up to you what you want to do. Just the best, basically the best spell you can use. So the, uh, in terms of the mage set, you can I I I mean in terms of the melee set, you just want to be using like full rune with like a zerker helm, and a dragon skimmy that should do as well as a spec weapon. I used um, a dragon dagger. Okay, so I'll speak, and you also need some runes obviously to cast. Hundred hundred death runes should be fine. Uh, I'll just be going over what kind of like what you'll need in your inventory. So first off, you're gonna need some kind of teleport to get out. I would suggest either a tab or a ecto file. You're also going to need some potions. I mean, about five prayer potions if you're about 70 combat, and a super attack potion and a super strength potion for arms. Um, you're also going to need a spade, and with the rest of your inventory, you just want to fill it up with food. All right, so let's get into the kind of like the combat requirements. For the combat requirements, you typically want to be at least level about 65 to 70. Um, it, even at level 70 combat, it's still pretty hard, and you must have 40 free prayer minimum. Um, so now let's uh, get into the actual like how you go about getting there. So to go about getting there, you typically want to run over from Canifus just down south until you get to. Um, where Barrows is, I think you just want to run up, and yeah. Now let's get into the actual footage of me doing it. Alright, so what you want what you want to do is you just want to run over this bridge, and then you want to head towards the first mound. The first mound I would suggest doing is, um, is Darox, because he's just, just, just the best one to start with. As you can see, you want to turn your prayer before he attacks you. I made that mistake. You just want to turn it on before, before you click on it. You just want to kill him. Uh, you can see I'm press prayer like prayer dropping at times is because, um, well, it uses less prayer. I'm led to believe. Uh, make sure to always keep your prayer uh, topped up. Uh, the next one you want to head over to is Carol's. Uh, this is typically because it's just it's just the best way to go about it. See, one thing I always oh, say, this this was my um my tomb, and then you want to head over to, I think Guffins. Yeah, I checked the map there. You want to head over to Guffins. If if one of these is a tomb, you're gonna have to come back to it last. All right, so you just want to turn out this Guffins. You can you you don't generally want to get hit by this guy, so I would suggest press switching unless you I mean like prayer dropping. I don't know what that's called. But this guy will heal back off you if you if your if your prayer does drop down. So you just want to kill this guy. Head up back on the stairs. Um, now you want to head to Torags, I believe. Yeah, I think this is Torags. You want to turn your prayer in again. Make sure you have enough. And and you just want to kill this guy. And this guy doesn't hit too hard. And you sometimes you don't even need to use um. Um, prayer on him because he does. I'm pretty sure he drops your prayer by 10% or something like that. Then you just want to climb back upstairs and then you want to head to Varax. Wait, no. You want to head to Arum. I think I actually miss uh, Varax, but it's basically the same. So you just want to head to Varax. Um, make sure you 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 put your uh, attack and strength potions on. And make sure to spec him out at the start because he actually lowers your your stats. And basically, this is why this is why you need um, attack and strength potions because he, if you don't, you can't actually hit for him because he drops your your stats so low your attack and strength. 
and make sure you don't you don't want to get your prayer dropped on this guy because he actually does hurt quite a bit. And so I'm just killing him down. As you can see, it's kind of difficult. You might want to turn your attack and strength pair on in um, the prayer bit, and then climb back up the stairs. I I actually forgot um, barracks, but he's barracks, but he's just, like basically the same. There's nothing different about him. So now you want to go down the tomb, and you want to head try and head towards the center. Um, you can actually get your kill count up here, but meh. and um, you'll actually find the boss who boss who should be here. In this case, it is um, Carol's. You'll find him as randomly when you go into a room. So you can get your kill count up. That'll actually increase your your chance of getting um, like runes and bolt racks. I believe it is eight for blood runes. You need eight, a kill count of eight at least for blood runes. But I could be wrong. You just want to turn your uh, pr protect from range on here against this guy. Um, you could use your your DDS spec again if you really wanted to. If you have special left, and you just want to kill this guy. I'd say it's pretty easy. And you just want to find the door which goes towards the center. I was pretty noob here, and I like I was really dumb. But I just want to get my my kill count up again. I wanted to get to eight because I believe that gives me the possibility. Wait, no, I think it's 9 for Bolt Racks, 8 for Blood Runes. So you just want to keep running along here until you basically go for the door which goes to the center. I think I was meant... Yeah, so you need to solve a puzzle, basically. I just remember... It's really annoying when this guy is kill attacking you because it cancels it. I just decided to spec him, try and spec him out here. So I open the door, I did the, the lock, and you just want to open the chest and search it, and you will get the stuff. Hope you've enjoyed this quick guide, and thanks. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.